Hi everyone, Michael Caswell here and I'm going to be showing you this Fender Blues Junior. This is an all tube, 15 watt, um, very pokey amp. Um, don't be fooled by its size, it may look small but it has a kind of real big sound and these sort of amps are great for smaller gigs and getting big tones uh, for recording. You can put a mic in front of it and get some really nice kind of Fender type tones. Um, it's got groove tube valves in the back. We've got a, um, two, let me think, we've got two EL84 output valves and we've got three 12AX7s uh, preamp valves, which are, you know, groove tube are great valves, so, you know, it's going to be a reliable amp. Um, a quirky little, it, apart from it looking good, this apparently these amps are, are Fender's uh, biggest kind of selling range. You know, the, the, all these, as you can get bigger and bigger ones, you've got the Hot Rod, you've got the Blues Deville, you know, they, they all kind of, they're selling well because they're a good product and they sound great. Um, a little quirky, I've just noticed I've got this straight out of the box and it's kind of, uh, you know, I've just plugged the guitar straight in. But a thing I always, know, always remind myself when I kind of walk up to a Fender amp is that when you kind of check the writing at the back and you want to adjust things, as you look at the front of the amp, the writing is always upside down, which is quite, I find kind of funny, but it's kind of idiosyncratic to, the, to a Fender amp. It makes it endearing. Um, but we've got a kind of a preamp stage on this amp, so you can actually uh, get some nice distortions at low volumes because you can crank up the preamp stage of the amp. Um, and it's got a three band EQ, obviously low, middle and high. We've got a, a nice little reverb, spring reverb in there as well, which I, I, I've just kind of put a little bit of that on the sound. You can actually hear kind of just a little bit of reverb behind there. If I just turn it up a little bit more, you can just hear, the, hear it, I'll make it a bit more obvious. It's kind of cool, cool little, it, I, I, Reverb on an amp adds a little bit of air behind, the, behind your you know, guitar tone. Um, and what I also like about this amp is uh, it's got a great little, uh, great little fat switch just here. Um, the fat switch actually does what it says on the tin. It kind of boosts uh, your, the mid-range and a bit more kind of gain on the sound. So if I, play, if I play the guitar without the fat switch, That sounds kind of fat enough, really, but with this fat switch, you get even more. It kind of increases the gain, gives you a bit more harmonics, gives you a bit more kind of guts, really. So if I turn that in. Very nice. Uh, I, the thing I like about these kind of um, these smaller valve combos is that they act, react really, really well with um, pedals. If, you, if you've got a few, you know, overdrives or compressors or, or anything to kind of boost the signal, put especially with valve amps. If you put those pedals in front of your amp, it opens up a whole new world of kind of tones and, and kind of gain and, and uh, you know expands the sound a lot. So. Certain amps don't like pedals in front of them, but valve amps do. So this is a, a great kind of, it would be a great tool for recording, smaller gigs, um, home practice, and also experimenting, getting the actual the sounds out of your pedals. Because you could see what it sounds like in a smaller amp, and when, if you've got a bigger amp for bigger gigs, you get a pretty good idea what your pedals is gonna, are going to do as well. But these sort of amps have been a kind of in the industry for a, a, a good while. Fender are a good benchmark for for other amps to kind of uh, match. Um, they're a, and they're a benchmark because it's a really good product in terms of you can get a lot of sounds out of it. It's, it's all about teaching you, it's a very simple, it's a very simple kind of approach in that you plug the guitar in and the tone comes from your pickup selection and your hands and your, and your playing rather than lots of bells and whistles. It's just um, a good, pure Fender tone. Um, I really like these sort of amps um, and this is a, perfectly good, loud enough model to, to use at a, a smaller gig. If you put a mic in front of it, you could use it at a, a bigger gig and let the PA do the work. 
So this is Defend the Blues Junior, fantastic amp.